Hello developers, my name is Adrian and today I wanted to answer the question for you, should you upgrade to React Navigation's new version 5 library? My answer is yes, but obviously it depends on your own environment and how much code you're willing to refactor, because yes, you will need to refactor quite a lot of it. React Navigation is a routing library for React Native, and if you've used it in the past, you know that you set it up outside of React components with preset configurations. The new version 5 upgrade means that it's now a dynamic based component API. This essentially means that the library is all components now, similar to what you would see in React Router on the web. This also means that now you have access to state, props, and context because you're defining the routing library inside of a React component inside the render method. It also means that you can dynamically update its configuration on the fly as things change in your application. Now to go over what that means, I'm going to pull up version 4 and 5 and go over the differences as well as the benefits that you now receive in version 5. Here we have two examples of React Navigation performing the same function across different versions. On the left side, we see React Navigation version 4, and on the right side, we see React Navigation version 5. React Navigation version 4's library is being called outside of the React component. It calls Create Stack Navigator with a preset configuration of the home screen and the initial route. This is then wrapped in a create app container, which wraps the app. However, it has no access to state or props or context. It cannot be changed on the fly and exists as a preset configuration. In comparison, version 5 exists inside of a React component. Here we can see the render method being called. We are passing the navigator as a component and its initial route as a prop as well as its screen as children components, with also props for its configuration. Doing so inside of the render method means we have access to props and state and context, and we can update the configuration of the navigator on the fly. I hope this gives you a better idea of the differences between React Navigation version 4 and 5. So this is a brand new channel, and if you guys have feedback or things you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below.